When the rural communities in the Sierra foothills set out to build a new high school, the final site selected was largely granite. While construction crews were blasting the rock, parents, teachers, students, and community members met to explode old thinking about education and plan a new school that would offer students a true 21st century education. The result is Minarets, an actively engaged and excited student body learning to be young professionals. The story of Minarets has many pieces, but it began with a dream and a plan. The school represents a dream for over 20 years. It's been a lot of work, a lot of planning, a lot of dreaming, but um, I think when you look around the campus and you see the programs, it's just a dream come true. As you look around, you'll see a campus that our community is, is very proud of. We're very fortunate to have this school and we um, initially before we actually started plans to build, we contracted with a consulting firm to um, interview the parents and the students and the basic representatives of our communities that we serve to find out what kind of high school they were looking for for their students. Most schools of K through 12 origin don't do that. We look to the community through a series of of meetings and workshops to hear what those needs are. Based on that, we were able to develop programs that are extremely unique, not only in the state of California, but also uh, nationwide, with hands-on, rigorous projects that provide accountability, but also provide a family-like setting for students. All of our students have a laptop to work on daily and to interact with their teachers and other students, and it's a very, very exciting place. I think one of the big things that schools uh, tend to make a mistake in is they start school too fast. They don't invest enough time in people getting to know one another, know the culture, know the possibilities, know why they're doing any of the things they're doing, know who they're working for, who they're working with. So we decided this year that we had an opportunity again where we were not going to be on our campus for the first week of school. We devoted almost the entire week. Uh, to really getting to know one another. We did a lot of stuff related to something called academic game plan, which is essentially just how to be successful at school, how to learn the game of school, how to be smart and study well, how to collaborate, how to be a team member. And so we did that for an entire week, and uh, we think there was a huge payoff for that. Building relationships was part of the original educational plan. It's the first of the four principles, the three R's, relationships, relevance, rigor, plus engagement, the one that holds them all together. They all come together in and are supported by the project-based learning. Project-based learning I think is successful because, well for a few reasons. One is the kids have to think broader. They're, they're not just learning a little nugget of information. They're, they're faced with a challenge of doing something. Project-based learning uh, creates an opportunity for the kids to do something more than just memorize some facts. And um, frankly, in my career, and I think in most of our careers, uh, projects are what we do. I would say probably our biggest difference is that we, we see the students as people who have a need. They, they need to get out into the world. We try to bring in uh, real-world tools, real-world ideas, real-world people, real-world workflows. We're not sure why we need a, a separation there between high school and the real world. Why are we putting kids in a kind of a learning purgatory and waiting for the real world? Why not just participate at that level right now? Probably the most, the most radical thing we've done is to actually ask students what's going on. We survey our kids four to six times a semester, and then we really listen to what they have to say. I think this has a huge impact on our attendance rate, which is higher than the county, state, or national average. Another unique part of our program, one that we think is much more rigorous, is our focus on outside contests and making presentations to each other and adults. It builds confidence, and students work harder when they have an audience. They enjoy the contests and projects, but the most important thing is that they're learning higher level skills and professional applications at the same time. Therese is just, she's, she comes home every day, every day of day, and she's just chewing up knowledge. Minarets 
for me, is the perfect school. It's really nice to come here and be in this environment and have so much support. I feel like I'm treated like an adult here, which is really nice. Well, I am levels beyond. I wouldn't be doing the thing I would be doing here until college. This is a school where they respect the kids. And you know what? The kids feel that. And they're going to learn. They're going to learn because they want to learn here. I've been able to express myself in ways I never thought possible. And it's this school, it's, I've just been blessed. I really have. Stories are powerful things. And here at Minarets, when you talk to the, the, the faculty staff and the students, you, you get the tinglys. You get excited because they are so alive with their experience they are having here. They are not just simply going to high school. They are alive with their experience. And in that is profound hope. We need to capture that story of hope. We need to share that story of hope. Hope empowers, hope can enact change. The youth here at Minarets have a story of hope. And I am very proud of them for having the courage to step forward and tell that story to our country. And I hope in turn that our country listens.